Hey everyone, buckle up, because today we're going to dive into something pretty amazing. We're talking body contouring after major weight loss. Yeah, and it's a big deal, right? Like, we hear so much about the journey of losing weight. Right. But what comes after? What about that excess skin, you know? Uh -huh. Those lingering reminders of where you were. It's like a climbing Mount Everest, right? Mm -hmm. You finally reach the top, you're there, you made it, but then you realize, oh, wow, now I have to climb back down. Exactly. And that comes with its own challenges, its own struggles. It does, yeah. So you've transformed your life, you're healthier, you've lost the weight, but your body might not reflect that incredible change that you now feel inside. Exactly, and that's what we're diving into today. This is it, yeah. With Dr. J. Timothy Katzen. He's the best, right. He is, he's a leading expert in post-bariatric plastic surgery. So we're going behind the curtain to understand this often overlooked part of the weight loss journey. Yeah, because it's not about trying to fit into some crazy beauty standard. No, not at all. It's about feeling good, right? Feeling yeah. comfortable in your own skin after you've made this incredible accomplishment. Exactly. And Dr. Katzen sees this all the time, like the discomfort physically, emotionally, that excess skin can have on people. Okay, so let's talk about that. I mean, excess skin, it just sounds like, oh, it's just a bit of loose skin. It's a minor inconvenience. But you're saying it can be a much bigger deal. Way bigger. Than that. Oh, yeah. We're not just talking about a little loose skin here and there. We're talking about imagine carrying around extra weight, sometimes pounds of it, but it's not fat, it's skin, it's heavy. Oh, wow. And it's this constant reminder of where your body used to be, and it can rub and chafe, make everyday things difficult, working out even. Oh, I bet. It's a lot more than people realize. And I imagine it goes way beyond the physical discomfort, right? I mean, there's got to be an emotional toll as well. Absolutely. It impacts your self-esteem, how you feel about yourself, your relationships with other people, your overall quality of life. Yeah, it's like... You ran a marathon, you crossed the finish line, but you're still dragging this weight with you. So that's a really good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. It is. And you know what's interesting about Dr. Katzen's approach is that he really sees this from both sides. He really gets that it's not just a physical thing. It's a mental thing, too. And he talks about this term paniculus. Paniculus. Yeah. It's essentially a large fold of excess abdominal skin. And it can cause all sorts of problems like rashes and infections, makes it hard to move around comfortably. And it can really impact your health and well-being. So it's about aligning your outsides with that incredible transformation you've already made on the inside. Exactly. I can see how that would be so powerful for people. It is. It's huge. So we're talking about reshaping the body after major weight loss. Right. What does that look like? Like surgically speaking, Yeah. it's more than just a tummy tuck. It's way more than a tummy tuck. Right. Dr. Katzen, he talks about having all these different tools, these procedures to address very specific things. Wow. And what's cool is he often combines these procedures. Oh, wow. So it's really custom tailored for each person's body and what they're hoping to achieve. Exactly. Exactly. So what are some of the tools in his toolkit? So one of the procedures that he's known for is a lower body lift. Okay. And basically, imagine like a 360 degree contouring around your midsection. 360, wow. So they go all around the abdomen, the hips, the lower back, even the buttocks, taking out excess skin and fat. That sounds pretty intense, mm -hmm. but also incredibly effective, I would imagine. It's a big transformation. It really is. Yeah. And a lot of times he'll combine that with a thigh lift, too, especially if there's a lot of excess skin on the inner thighs. I was actually curious about that, about thigh lifts, because I know that there are different types of thigh lifts. There are. Yeah, you're right. So what are they? And this is where Dr. Katzen's really meticulous, you know? Yeah. Okay. He's really good at what are called crescent lifts and longitudinal lifts. Okay, those sound pretty technical. Tax stuckles. <laughs> they do, right? Yeah. Basically, they're both designed to remove that extra skin from the thighs, but it's all about where those incisions are placed, you know, to make their scars less visible. Okay. So the crescent lift, for example, focuses on the upper inner thigh. Okay. Kind of where you would naturally have a crease anyway. Right. So it's really hudden. Okay. And then the longitudinal lift, they make an incision that goes down the inner thigh. Okay. So again, it's d designed to be less noticeable. It's amazing how these procedures have evolved. I know. You know? It's incredible. Even in just minimizing, like you said, those scars. Like, that's a big deal. It is. It's huge. So we've got the tummy area covered. We've got the thighs covered. What other areas are common to address with body contouring? The arms are a big one, yeah. Okay. So an arm lift, also called a brachioplasty. Right. And that targets that excess skin that hangs from the upper arm. People call them bat wings sometimes. Right, right. So that's a big one, especially for people who, you know, have been self-conscious about wearing short sleeves. Oh, I bet. Yeah. 
and just feeling confident, being able to wear what you want, that's a huge part of all this, right? It's huge. Yeah. It's about your body image, feeling good in your clothes, you know, after you've made such a big change. Yeah. Yeah. And for some patients, he'll do a procedure called an upper body lift. Okay. Which can address multiple areas, the breasts, the upper back, the arms. It just depends on, you know, what somebody needs. So it's really like a puzzle. It is. Yeah. And you're putting the pieces together to get this like really harmonious outcome. Exactly. So it's not just one size fits all. Not at all. It's really customized. It's very specialized. Yeah, I do want to touch on something you mentioned earlier about combining different procedures because it sounds like Dr. Kansom is really great at that. He is. But he's also very careful Yes. to not do too much. Not too much at once, yeah. Right, and I think that's where thinking about the recovery process is so important. Exactly. So before we even get into the specifics of different procedures and what they entail, yeah, what are your thoughts on the recovery process? Like, what goes into that? What should people be thinking about in terms of how long it takes to recover? It's a big deal, and I think the biggest thing is that it's a commitment, you know? Okay. This isn't a quick fix. We're yeah. talking weeks to months of dedicated recovery time. It is a big deal. So what does that look like, that recovery process? How long are we talking? Yeah, you're looking at weeks to months, you know, depending on what you're having done. Wow. It's a commitment for sure. It is, yeah. So you really have to be ready for that. Yeah, Dr. Katzen, he's really big on making sure people understand that going in. Right. It's not a quick fix. No. It's a journey. You're in it for the long haul. What about scarring? Because I imagine that's a big concern for a lot of people considering these procedures. Of course, who wants extra scars, right? Right. But like we were saying earlier, Dr. Katzen's very careful about where he puts those incisions, how he closes them up, all that stuff. Right. To make sure that the scars are as minimal as possible and they heal well. Okay. And honestly, there's a lot you can do after surgery too, you know, right. to help those scars fade, like special creams, silicone sheets. Even lasers. So you really want to find a surgeon who's not just thinking about that surgery day. Right. They're thinking about the whole picture, the long term. Exactly. Exactly. Someone who's not just a good surgeon, but also gets the aesthetics, you know? Right. Listens to what you want, what you're hoping for. And that's something that Dr. Katzen's really known for. Okay. He takes the time to get to know each patient, understand their goals and their concerns. I mean, he's been doing this for over 20 years. Wow. He's incredible, really a leader in this field, in fact. He leads the American Society of Bariatric Plastic Surgeons. Oh, wow. So he's setting the standards. He's the guy. Yeah. So let's say you found your Dr. Caps and you're ready for this. Yeah. What about the financial piece of it? Like insurance? Do they usually cover these procedures? So that can be tricky. A lot of times insurance companies see this as cosmetic, you know? Yeah. Even though we know it's about so much more than just looks. Right. It's about your health. It's about how you feel. Exactly. So do your research. Talk to your insurance company. Right. See what they'll cover. Sometimes they will, especially if it's considered medically necessary, like yeah. if you're having infections or problems moving around. So it's always worth looking into. It is, always. So we've talked about a lot today, those challenges of excess skin after weight loss, mm -hmm. all those different surgical options, the recovery, the importance of finding the right surgeon for you. If you had to boil it all down, what would you say are the key takeaways for our listeners? I think the biggest one is this. If you've gone through the incredible journey of losing a significant amount of weight, you deserve to feel good in your own skin. Right. You know? This isn't about chasing some perfect body it's about taking that final step yes aligning the outside with how strong you feel on the inside it's about feeling confident yeah feeling good in your own skin like you said and really celebrating how far you've come yes exactly love it and you know ultimately whether or not to have surgery that's a personal decision right but i hope that by diving into this today we've given people the information they need to make the choice that's right for them that's what it's all about it is knowledge is power that's right. And speaking of food for thought, I love where we ended up today thinking about if our bodies are always changing, at what point does it become less about fixing something from the past and more about, you know, becoming who we are right now? It really makes you think, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Our bodies are amazing. They really are. They do so much for us. They do. But sometimes they just need a little help to catch up with where we are. I love that. That's a great way to put it. Yeah. Well, this has been fascinating. Thanks so much for taking the time to break it all down with me today. Of course. My pleasure. It's always so inspiring to talk about these journeys, yeah. these transformations. It is. It really is. Thanks again. Thank you.